Welcome to the SELA episode of the Christian Men at Work podcast. We're in between my interviews with Christian men. I talk about five things. S is something on my heart. E is an example of faith at work. L is logos or a passage from scripture related to work. A is an announcement. And H is a handy tip to help you be more effective at your work. Men at Work, welcome to episode 174, which is seal episode 78. Ecclesiastes 3 verse 1 says, To everything there is a season, a time for every purpose under heaven. I heard my pastor Cam Huxford about 17 years ago at Savannah Christian Church, which is now called Compassion Church, uh, preach a series on the paradox of the kingdom of God and how in so many ways the kingdom is the opposite of what we would think on our own. For example, you must die in order to live, and if you give, you will receive. There's much more to this than what I just shared, and I probably need to try and find that sermon again and listen to it, but I think the reason it stuck with me is that time and time again it rings true for me. I used to really enjoy the Seinfeld show, and one of my favorite episodes was when George and Jerry came to the conclusion that George's instincts were always wrong, and so George began doing the opposite of what he thought he should do. In some ways, I think that applies to the Christian walk. Proverbs 14.12 says, There is a way that seems right to a man, but its end is the way of death. I know that we have the gift of the Holy Spirit, but I can only speak for myself that I do not trust my own instincts on many matters and need to seek God and ask him to guide me often. This creates tension, but I think it's a good tension. There's another aspect to this kingdom journey and walk that I want to talk about that is similar to that paradox, and that is the tension of knowing when to be humble and when to be bold, specifically in the workplace. I believe I shared about six months ago that I received some correction at work. It was hard to take and it was humbling. Things have gone much better since then. I've received a lot of positive feedback, both in terms of what I've been doing and how I've been doing it. I've heard it said that the Christian walk is a tension between grace and law, between humility and boldness, between strength and weakness, and our response and focus to things we face in life should vary depending on where we are at in our circumstances. When we're at a low point in our circumstances at work, we should focus on on, on God's grace, on his promises, and on our inheritance and status as children of the living God. Some verses that express that that come to mind include Ephesians 6.10, Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Hebrews 4.16, let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And Romans 8.37, yet in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. There was a season where my wife and I were very much following what is called Word of Faith doctrine in attending a Word of Faith church. Some of the preachers on a national level known for this are Kenneth Copeland, Andrew Womack, and Charles Capps, among others. This is often referred to as the prosperity gospel. I agree there are errors in this part of the body and in this teaching, but I have not thrown the baby out with the bathwater, and I believe God wants us to speak his word with power and confidence, particularly when we have been humbled and beaten down, whether it was a self-inflicted wound or not. Now, when we are at a high point at work, for example, we just got a promotion or an attaboy, we're feeling like we're providing value to others and have refined our skill set, those are the times, I believe, when we need to focus on our weakness and be humble. That doesn't mean we should not celebrate our blessings and good times, but we should give glory to God and not to ourselves. 
We don't want to be like King Nebuchadnezzar, who in Daniel 4.30 said, uh, after he was walking about the royal palace of Babylon, Is not this great Babylon that I have built for a royal dwelling by my mighty power and for the honor of my majesty? Immediately after that, God made him to be like a wild beast eating grass in the wilderness for seven years. James 4 verse 10 says, Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord, and he will lift you up. As believers, we are children of the Most High God, but we are not God. Like the old saying, we need to believe that there is a God, and we are not him. We are never as bad as we think we are at work in our lowest moments, nor are we as great as we might think we are at our greatest moments. Next is E, an example of faith at work. And I would like to use an example, as an example, the very first person I interviewed on this podcast, Dave Brown. Similar to the story of Chuck Colson, Dave humbled himself and dedicated himself to God in the middle of his long career in government. He, um, he was actually a key member of Ronald Reagan's staff in the 1980s. He later went to seminary and became a pastor and has led a ministry to men, which is how I um, was introduced to him. For more on Dave, check out episode 1, as well as episode 140, uh, the second one where Dave and I talked about isolation, passivity, and political idolatry. It's a good good conversation. Next is L, or Logos, uh, scripture related to work, and I'm going to uh, refer to 1 Timothy 6, 17 to 19. As for the rich in this present age, charge them not to be haughty, nor to set their hopes on the uncertainty of riches, but on God, who richly provides us with everything to enjoy. They are to do good, to be rich in good works, to be generous and ready to share, thus storing up treasure for themselves as a good foundation for the future, so that they may take hold of that which is truly life. Uh, next is A, an announcement, just a reminder if you'd like to support the ministry, um, you can find out more on ChristianMenAtWork.com. Uh, and to wrap it up, H, a handy tip, uh, continuing with jokes that you can share at work. What did the ocean say to the shore? Nothing, he just waved. And that will do it for this episode. Love you guys. Hope you have a great week, and we'll talk to you soon. God bless. <laughs>